In this lesson, we will study about another important container adapter. It's called Priority Q. So it's a container adapter and it provides constant time lookup of the largest element. Largest by default. So here it's a priority queue. So a queue where elements have different priorities and you will pick the element with the highest priority. And by default, the highest priority will be given to the largest element. And largest, by largest we mean we have a means of, we have a way of comparing the elements. For example, if we have integers, then we have 10, 5, then we would say that 10 is more than 5. So by default, 10 will have higher priority. Although you can define your own priority. So you can provide a custom compare function where you will uh, say which order you want them. So which has a higher priority, maybe for your use case, 5 has a higher priority, so you can assign that. So this is the default. And uh, insertions and uh, extractions, these are logarithmic time. And uh, you need to include this queue header, just like queue. And uh, a user provided compare can be supplied and this compare will be used for determining the priority. And it's defined like this. So you have a type, type of data that is stored in the container its adapter so there is an underlying container and by default the container will be a vector of the same type and then you can provide the compare and if you don't provide anything the default will be std less so it will uh, arrange the higher larger values ahead of a smaller value so larger values will get higher priority although we will see an example of this also where we will provide our own custom comparator and we will change the way priority is set and you will uh, this will become mandatory when the element this type is some custom user defined class and there that less than greater than operator these will not work so you will need to define a custom comparator in that case but even primitive types you can define your own comparator so let's see the container so you can see here one of the elements was container and the default was vector so it's the type of underlying container to use to store the elements and the requirement is that whatever container you decide to use uh, it has to meet the requirements of sequence container so by sequence container we mean uh, a container that stores object of the same type in a linear arrangement and the iterators must satisfy the requirements of legacy random access iterator which is a legacy bidirectional iterator that can be moved to, to point it to any element in constant time so random access is possible and uh, for example a pointer to an element of array it satisfies the requirement of uh, legacy random access iterator so it has to satisfy this whatever container it is and uh, in fact vector satisfies that and it's the default q also satisfies that requirement and another requirement was that it must provide following functions like front push back pop back these must be there and these are supported by vector and deck next you see there see that we said that we can define our own comparator if we don't define the default will be std less and it will uh, arrange in ascending order, uh, descending order that is 10 will be given higher priority than maybe 9, 6, 2, 1 like this. If we change it to std greater, it will be reverse. So we will see an example of that also. So it's a compare type providing a strict weak ordering compare parameter is defined such that it returns true if the first argument comes before its second argument in weak ordering. So let's see some of the functions then we will jump to examples. So size it's uh, just like other containers and container adapters. It will return the number of elements in the underlying container. Then this equal to is used to assign values to the container adapter and top accesses the top element that is element with highest priority depending on how you have defined the priority and this will be o of 1 constant time 
empty will check whether it's empty or not if the number of elements in the underlying container is zero it's empty push it inserts the element and sorts the underlying container pop removes the top el top element top will just return it pop will remove it so let's uh, start with a simple example we will see the default uh, container default comparator and then we will start modifying that so first we will need to include this queue header which i have already done then let's start creating the priority queue and let's say the type is int then let's have a vector and we will need to include that So let's say this is our vector and we will start inserting all of these elements into this priority queue. Now we have inserted everything and now let's print the contents of this priority queue. So while this is not empty, we will print it and also pop the elements. Now what it will do, first time we call top, it will pick the element with highest priority and by default the highest priority will be same as the largest element because we have not changed anything you can see it we have kept it default so first it should print uh, 9 then 8 we are also popping it so 9 will be gone then 8 then 6 uh, then 7 then 6 that is in descending order so let's run it And you see that it, it's printed in descending order 9 followed by 8, 7, 6 and so on. Now what we will do, uh, we will modify it. So let's keep it as it is. Now this is our new priority queue. So we are providing type then vector of int. Now we are changing this default. Default was std less. You can see here std less. So this uh, takes the highest element, largest element as the highest priority. So if we reverse it std greater, then it will be reverse. Now let's see. Now it's the other way, 0 is of highest priority, then 1, then 2 and so on. Let's Now let's define our own custom comparator. So here we have used some built-in comparator. So here first let's define a comparator. It should take two elements. And if you write return a less than b, then it should behave just like the default one. So let's see.
so you see it's the default one nine eight seven six four two now let's make it greater and it's the opposite so this will be useful when let's say instead of this int you have your own class or let's say student and the student has multiple uh, features maybe age id and you get the idea and here let's say you want to uh, pick the student with highest age the oldest student to, to be the highest priority then you will define a comparator like this which will take two elements of type student and then you will get their ids and then arrange them so let's say it's student a and student b then you will say a dot age is less than a dot b dot age then it will pick the student with highest age to be of highest priority so in that case you are uh, you have to give the custom comparator so i hope uh, you understood how to use priority queue and it's a very handy uh, data structure you must know it there are many many data structure and algorithm problems that require you to use priority queues